we now come to find the distance of a point from a plane okay distance of a point from a plane so in the given cartesian space i have got a got a plane say the plane is something like this say there is something like this okay so so there is something like this you understand so it is kind of this okay and obviously there is a normal to it obviously there is a normal to it say i i extend the plane maybe like that okay so it is something like this now what <coughs> this making obviously an angle of 90 degree it's a normal okay and i have any point which which may be lies here okay i want the distance of this point p from this plane now the distance as you know has to be the perpendicular distance okay that is something that is understood the distance has to be the perpendicular distance okay now how do i do that how do i do that in the vector form in the vector form and then in the cartesian form okay now it is given to us that the equation of the plane is equation of the plane is r dot n cap is equal to b suddenly they have changed whole thing to n cap out here okay so it means this d is the actual distance so somehow do we understand that so 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 this means that this is this is my d right this is my d the actual distance when the vector becomes n cap the distance becomes the actual distance so that is my d okay fine what else what do i do now let the let the position vector of this be let the position vector of this point be a so it is something like this okay this vector is a now there are two ways in which i can go and one of the ways is very simple see what is after all after all the distance whatever is this distance the same is this distance is the same do we understand that whatever is this perpendicular distance this is also the perpendicular distance why is it perpendicular distance because this is already normal okay now can i find this can i find this this is this is the direction of n cap maybe maybe n cap is something like this okay this is n cap do we get that now what is this if you think clearly if you just go back a little this is nothing but the projection of a vector on the n vector is it not this is the projection of this vector H how had we defined the projection there was a vector like this that was a if that had to be projected on some vector 
that was b then what is the projection this distance is called the projection is it not this is called the projection correct so it is a dot b cap projection of a on b we had learnt was a dot jiske upar projection hota hai on whatever vector we are taking the projection that becomes cap correct so is it not the projection of vector a this is vector a i have named it here this is vector a on the direction of the normal so what i say is that this distance o d hmm, the distance o d is equal to a dot n cap is it not do we get that it will become clearer when you see the vector videos okay <clears throat> so take out time and start seeing that hmm? so it is a dot n cap a dot n cap so this is the distance of this point from here from the plane uh, fr from the origin is it not this is the distance of no 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 don't take it that way see this is this hole is this distance od okay a dot n cap is od now if i subtract d from there is it not let, let, let us say this point is is e let us say okay so oe and oe is how much that is small d nahi since we have we have n cap we get oe is equal to d is it not now the distance from the plane say this is say f distance of point p from the plane is equal to pf which is equal to ed is it not which is equal to ed pf is equal to ed we get it now what is ed ed is equal to od minus oe now i get uh, now i have both of them is it not which is equal to a dot n cap minus d that is the distance no the book has done something else quite something else uh, what they have done is not sort of wrong but it is no no need to do that actually okay so this is one of the methods this is method one vector right we are we are right now doing the vector method this is method one you fully understand this fine now method two is method 2 is the method of the book method 2 is this the book says the book says let me pass a plane that is parallel to this plane let let me let me let me find the equation of the plane that is parallel to this plane okay and which passes through point p you get the point we we try to construct a 
plane plane passing through p and parallel to parallel to the already given plane parallel to the already given plane we get it parallel parallel to the already given plane that means we try to i am constructing this okay sort of sort of this i am trying to construct a plane here plane here this red one do we get the point do they look parallel yes sir normally when you draw these edges parallel they start looking parallel if you if you don't want to look them parallel draw these edges like that funny way our mind comprehends things this is simple they have what they have done is the same but they have done, gone a bit ahead now how do i find out this uh, you you know if r is any vector on this if r is any vector on this plane then r minus a see parallel to the already given plane now now since it is already parallel to the given plane the normal the normal to the to the to this plane is the same as will, will be also normal to this newly constructed plane okay so in which so in cap which is normal to the given plane will also be normal to the normal to the newly constructed plane to the newly constructed plane we get the point okay so so r minus a a vector which lies on the plane is perpendicular to n cap so how do i find out that so r minus a dot n cap is equal to d this we have uh, uh, r minus uh, that is equal to 0 sorry r minus a dot n cap is equal to 0 so r dot n cap minus a dot n cap is equal to 0 so r dot n cap is equal to a dot n cap is it not now you see now you see we have come back to the square one we know whenever the left side is represented as r dot n cap the right side becomes the actual distance so what is the distance of this plane distance of 3 from origin distance of 3 from origin is a dot n cap now now you'll realize this we had concluded here only all right what they have found out after finding out the equation of the plane we had done by the projection of the vector formula correct so don't get confused both the both the things they are not sort of different but this is a a, a, a bit circuitous route of doing the same thing right so 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 that therefore distance of of point from the plane point from the plane is equal to a dot n cap minus d so that we have already concluded okay so distance of p from plane is equal to this uh, 
So it is this. Okay. Distance of uh, this thing, which which is the same as this, so no issues. Now again the the ritual of doing the Cartesian form. Cartesian form. Okay. What is the Cartesian form of it? The n cap. The n cap is what? What is n cap? Okay. Now, we are if we are given the equation of the plane like this. Now, this is one of the biggest leap of faith that they have done. If it is n cap, it should have been l x m y and n z. Fine, but somehow suddenly, this is the equation for what vector? r dot n is equal to d suddenly suddenly the ncrt book has shifted it to this here they had taken the plane as r dot n cap here they are writing the equation for r dot n equal to d anomalies right but don't get disheartened nothing nothing chaotic about it if you understand what we are talking about because from here I know that my n vector is what? Can you tell me what my n vector is? Huh? huh? So n? No? No, you didn't get? X i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap dot a i cap plus b j cap plus c k cap is equal to d. Now n vector is equal to a i cap plus b j cap plus c k cap k cap. Okay. Now I want n cap. So 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 there is no hassle. I a i cap plus b j cap. N cap is nothing but n divided by mod n plus c k cap divided by a square plus b square plus c square under root. Under root. Okay. Fine. And what is my a vector? A is any fixed point. So it is x1 i cap plus y1 j cap plus z1 k cap. Okay. So, so this point is actually x1 y1 z1. That's why we have already seen if the coordinate is x1, y1, z1, the position vector is x1, i cap plus y1, j cap plus z1, k cap. Fine? We understand that. So, so what happens? So, what happens? What is a dot n cap? a dot n cap will be x1, a x1, no? So, a dot n cap minus d is equal to what a x1 plus b y1 plus c z1 divided by root over a square plus b square plus c square minus d is it not so what is the distance this is the distance this is the distance in the Cartesian form. Complicated? Complicated? No? Now, now wait. I have this plane. What is the distance from the, what is the distance from the origin? The distance from the origin is here. What is d? Here d is 